O'Gara's Bar and Grill in St. Paul is used to serving up fun. But on this day, it's serving as CARE 11's laboratory. Our experiment, do these three popular breathalyzer apps actually work? Utilizing precision technology via your smartphone's audio jack. Online, the apps claim to warn you when you no longer can legally drive. So you now know when it's time to hand the keys to a friend. I think we got everyone. We enlisted the help of five local celebrities to see if that claim is actually true. I have like the world's highest tolerance for a guy that doesn't drink. You may not recognize Corey Cove or his drinking buddies. Uh, did we see a different Cordero Patterson? Of course yesterday. we, yeah. But you probably recognize all their voices. Corey, along with Chris Hockey, are on the Power Trip Morning Show on KFAN Radio. Fan Jam tickets coming up 9:45. Chris Carr, Maverick, and Kaya make up Chris Carr and Company on K102's Morning Show. All right, morning, everybody. I'm Pat Enderline with Dakota County Sheriff's Office. Back at O'Gara's, helping with our controlled drinking experiment, are some skeptical law enforcement officers. Interested though to see what happens. Oh, absolutely. I can hardly wait. We want to get people as close to the legal limit, 0.08, as possible and see what the breathalyzers read. So today, drink like you guys normally would. At some point, we may expedite you a little bit if you're not drinking quickly enough or we may slow you down. We don't want to be thrown up today. With some of the traditional bar food at their fingertips, the drinking begins. And for about two hours, they all down drinks, from beer to mixed drinks, to shots. I can feel my cheeks get a little rosy. Yeah, I've got a buzz, I would say. And they get a little bit more boisterous. And Lieutenant Don Morose is with um, the Minnesota State Patrol. He's an expert on the impacts of alcohol. We're starting to hear some of these I love you mans and they're taking pictures of each other and they're more than willing to come and talk to us, which they generally weren't when we first got here. Go. Each volunteer tests all three apps, breathometer, alcohol, and backtrack, which range in price from about $50 to around $100. Overall, this first test shows no big surprises. Everyone was under the legal limit. Cheers. But as the drinks begin to build, the results seem to split. That says no driving. You're over, right? Yep. Yeah. Backtrack has Chris Carr at .08, the legal limit, and that's pretty close to the sheriff's official breathalyzer. Well, I'm under. Which is just under that at .076. And go. Same goes for Maverick. When we test him, breathometer has him at .10, over the limit. That's pretty much what deputies got him at, too. That's smoking. <laughs> Breathometer and backtrack weren't entirely accurate on all the tests, but did warn us when we got close to the limit. God bless. But as shots like root beer barrel and lemon drop push people past the legal limit, we discover one app is consistently way off. So there's no way you feel that you'd be able to drive right now? I, I feel like I'd have a hard time walking to my car, let alone driving. And the official breathalyzer agrees. Deputies say Chris Hockey is over the legal limit at point zero eight eight. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. But Alcahoot doesn't think so. Keep blowing. Okay. Wow. Point zero six four. That's quite a difference. Point zero six four. According to this, I could drive. But this one was the most expensive of the three apps. Could it have been a fluke? We tried again. This time with Corey. Point zero five four. No chance. That's yeah. way off. Yeah, there's no way. In fact, in four out of the five tests, it failed to warn us, even though the official reading showed we were over the limit. If it reads lower than w what you really are, that's a problem. I, I guess I'm less concerned if it reads higher, but that's still a concern. So to sum up, in our test, breathometer and backtrack usually warned us when we got close to the limit, but Alcahoot did not. In an email, Alcahoot told us they were surprised by the results because they were inconsistent with other independent tests where their product performed well. And they told us they'd continue to analyze the product to ensure accuracy. But Dakota it. County Chief Deputy Tim Leslie says none of Keep those going. readings mean much if you're pulled over okay, or go. worse. You hurt somebody. Keep on, keep the stuff on. we use is proven. It's recognized in court, so we're going to be using that, and we really don't care as much about what you're using. Right. Here's to us. And as our celebrities finished up their test,